Alright. And we on. What's up everybody? Welcome to the Cafe of Knowledge. Hey. Appreciate y'all tuning in today. Please hit like and subscribe, please. Today we have a special guest in the house. I want to introduce our special guest. I'm Shell, okay. uh, the owner of Dance with Shell. It's a dance program with the city. Okay, and how can they look you up if uh, uh, they want to do? Instagram is at Dance with Shell, S H A L. On Facebook, I'm Shell Dancer. And my business page is Dance with Shell, S H A L. Okay, and when you say dance, um, who is, is it the dance? Do you teach grown ups how to dance or is it kids how to dance? Oh, uh, ages, ages two and up. Okay, okay, that's so nice. So adults too. Right. I have adult classes. So. Okay, okay, that, that's awesome. So everybody know how to contact her. And uh, today's topic is, and let's let me tell you, this uh, this topic was requested by our special guest. So uh, we appreciate you. <laughs> it was a good topic, and you want to tell them what the topic is today? The topic is why are people afraid to follow and pursue their dreams. Okay, wow, uh, that's 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 deep there. I'm gonna kick it off. That's a lot of people. Go ahead. Yeah, and I'm, I I suffered one half of it myself, so. Mm -hmm. so this is just my perspective on the, on the situation. They have others, but it's hard to distinguish between living logically and truly following your dream mm -hmm. and pursuing a, you know what I'm saying, a gift and a talent because <clears throat> in society, you have to, that's how they want you to do. You have to have a job. You need to be working. You need to be providing for yourself and your family you know you need mm -hmm. a place to stay mm -hmm. you got bills you got a car note mm -hmm. insurance mm -hmm. all this mess so that's going to take up my opinion between 60 to 70 percent of your income anyway so you know the other three and is pretty time. much yeah and your time so yeah. you know you have to the other 30 percent is usually like you know food and leisure time mm -hmm. so if you're truly going to go and pursue your dreams fully I heard about the saying, like, if you have a plan B, usually that means plan A won't work anyway. So, if you truly wanted to su suffice, you. yeah, you should you. plan a plan you. A and saying. just have that plan A and just make sure you're not going to lose it. Like, mm -hmm. you know, since you use it, but that takes a lot of your time. So, if you only have 30% of, of your leisure time to, to do or follow your dream, I'm not going to say that it can't happen and it won't succeed, but the process is going to be very, very slow. Yeah. So, you know most of your time and your effort and your energy is going to go into your daily routine and your job. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so that's why you hear the stories of people who say they like they just left and went and followed their dreams, they quit their jobs. Right, and all right, this because right. And, you and you know, choose. you can follow your, 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 your dreams and goals can come on your job as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of people don't follow it. But do you want to say something about that as well, what he just said? Yeah, um, being a mom... That's, like, what I struggle with most of the time, like, my thoughts. But when I got pregnant with my daughter, like, I promised myself I wouldn't stop dancing. I was like, I won't stop dancing because when she grow up, I want her to feel like whatever she want to do, mm -hmm. she can do it. And I want to be that prime example. So if she want to sing, she want to be a teacher, she mm -hmm. want to be a doctor, she want to be the president, whatever she wants to, to do, do right, I want her to look right, at me and say... Right. Right. I can do whatever because she never gave up. Right. She always right. did what her talent was right. and what her God-given right. gift mm -hmm. was. So, And that's what you did, too, because uh, I always wanted y'all, told y'all to follow, follow whatever it is that y'all want to do, your dreams, your goals, or whatever. Man. And it just take a, you know, it takes a lot of time. I was yeah. there. Um, I was there. You, you managed us most of the time. Mary's yeah. Got Talent. Boston's Massachusetts magazine. Yeah. So you think you can dance? Yeah, they did. Many do that. auditions. Mm -hmm. Uh, with Vampire Diaries, I was actually casted. I was going to be casted to be on Vampire Diaries before it even came out. Mm -hmm. Uh, the guy, uh, character. I don't know if you know. It, was it the original two that came with Marcellus? Mm -hmm. I was. I went to fill right, out for his role, right, but I didn't right. really make it. So. It's just... But you I was, did that. Yes, I, yes, was, I did that. And did. I, I, but I'm just speaking from my perspective. I put over 70 to at least 80% of my time into my craft. Work, work was like 30%. I'm not going to lie to you. I was working a job. Yeah, but I didn't really care about that job. I used, utilized everything I had right. and put it into my craft. And yeah, some bills going to get thrown behind. Or your car going to be back behind. Or some rent going to be late. Or 
you just have to go for it. Yeah, usually, you know some what I'm people, saying? Yeah, so, and some people do do but, that. But, then, go ahead. but lately, I've been the opposite. I know some people out there who who know of me and so they yeah. be like, "What he been?" Or, right, you know what but you 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 I've you be on the grind life. and you be doing stuff. <laughs> yeah, you know, and so, that's and that's what a lot of us I'm do. But now. then you have a what what can stop? Why do people won't pursue or follow their dreams? Also, you have a lot of negative people that put doubt mm -hmm. inside of them. Mm -hmm. You know. You, you have a lot of people they, that say, why are you doing that? Right. That don't make sense. Yeah. Why right, you right. You should do this You instead. should do, exactly, yeah. exactly. You see what well, I'm I want to tell you how to do it. And mm -hmm. they never did it before. Right. So how you can tell somebody how to do something that you ain't never did before? Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that and that is true. Because I have seen people putting doubt in people's head. And I, I'm going to give y'all an exa example of this. Because that's why I say like, Sometimes on the job, you can be able to reach a goal. Like a lot of people say, you know what? I just want to either they say they want to go to college and they just want to get a good job. Or if not even go to college, just when I get out of high school, I want to work, go in the workforce and I want to make some good money. That's yeah. all I want to do. Right. Mm -hmm. And I have seen where I was managing about, I know it was 796 employees at one time, right? Now I have to say, and that's for 30 years, y'all. So I always had about 700 people that I was managing at all times. I was running different stores or whatever. But I have seen that out of those 700s from year to year to year to year, it could have been, I could have promoted about 400 of those 796 or 97, but because they were so afraid to make that next step, oh, they, didn't wanna get they didn't want to get promoted. Uh -huh. But those are the people who were saying, when I get out of high school and get a job, I just want to make a lot of money. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to tell you where we, we, the reason why I'm bringing this up because we was talking about negative people who put doubt in people's head. Because I say out of those 400 or 300 people that I could have promoted, half of them, about 150 of them, I did promote. But then you had a, another 100 and something that just wouldn't do it. They were scared to do it. Like, nah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I don't think. And, and I say this because a lot of them was low income, right? And it was some females that was living in the projects or on Section 8 or something like that. And I would tell them, hey, you're doing a terrific job. I would like to promote you into management. Mm -hmm. And management is a salary level. Now we start talking about salary level. Right, and it. then, but, okay, but once you get into management, management teaches you how to be then a store or general manager who runs the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Then that position Climb teaches you how to be a district manager where you got about five and six and seven stores. Mm -hmm. Then that position teaches you how to be a regional manager. That means that you have to fly from all across a certain region because you're over all of them stores. Now you're talking about 10, 15, 20 stores, right? Now that's where I was at. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I did it because someone had confidence in me and said, hey, I was just a regular employee, and they said, hey, go into management. And then I was like, oh, okay, I might try that. I'll do it. Yeah. But the thing is, is that when you're on low income, when you first get out of high school, because I was low income when I first got out of high school, but because I worked my butt off on my regular job, just being a regular employee, the management team came to me to want to be a manager, mm -hmm. okay? And once I got in that manager spot, I took off from there. Mm -hmm. Okay, but if so many people, because I was 
like I said, just come out of high school now. I'm like 19 years old, 18, 19 years old. You had so many people that because I was in a low-income area, they were saying, girl, you better not take that uh, manager job, girl, because they're going to cut your food stamps off. Mm -hmm. And they're going to make you pay more in rent. Girl, uh-uh, girl, because see, you ain't got to, see, they based it on for your check, your your regular check. If you go into management, then the housing authority going to kick you out the projects or take you off of your Section 8, and they're going to cut your food stamps off. Girl, uh-uh, uh-uh, girl, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that if I was you, girl, because yep. I, uh, right? So, now I was, what a choice of, hey. Low income housing or whatever that ain't going nowhere. So once I make this step and I don't make it, I'm still gonna follow this dream because I was that one that said, Man, when I get out of high school or whatever, I want to just make a lot of money. I just want to be able to provide, don't have to ask nobody for nothing, live good, dress nice, have nice cars, whatever. I just want that for myself and my kids. To have everything that I have, you know? And so, I took that chance. But you wouldn't believe the people that I was around in my low-income area that was saying I was making the biggest mistake of my life by coming off of food stamps and coming off of Section 8. That's good. Yeah, or they whatever can't see past that. they can't see past that, but that's what I'm talking about. But you have those negative people, mm -hmm. and so now you're talking about. I think it only took me about five years to get to where I was district manager. Now that's where I'm running ten or twelve stores. You see, I go into those twelve stores, each store, and see what's going on, and I'm running, making sure they're keeping my numbers and everything else right. Right. So now I'm like, ooh, I'm so glad. I made that move. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I pursued my dream. And each step I made, I wanted to get better. You see what I'm saying? And then that's when the money started flowing in. And okay, well, shoot, I, I, get, I, I got this, I got that, and got this, and got that. And my life, I lived good. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm in that position, it was some people... That's what I'm, that's what I was saying at the beginning. It was some employees of mine that I really said, "Hey, I seen it in them." You and saw the I, I seen like the I'm telling you, I seen it because I was them. Mm -hmm. I seen the. I mean, I can go into my stores and I can see, boy, it's it's one person that can do five and six different positions. You know, they just getting down, bah, 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 bah. They just getting down. I'm talking about the whole nine hours they there. They getting down. I look at their pay, see what they making. Hey, time for valuation. You need to I'm give you a raise. Now, after so many valuations and that person I've been with me about two years or whatever, I said, hey, I want you to think about going into management. Oh, no. Because they going to cut my food stamp off. It's the same exact thing I heard. And y'all don't know how much I've sat in an office with an employee for about an hour and a half trying to convince them that that's going to be there. Mm. Make this move for yourself. And I can promise you, you won't regret the it. Opportunity not the always opportunity there. is not always here because, see, once I leave, the next uh, district manager or regional manager... Probably see it in you, but probably a bypass you and ain't going to tell you. Right. You see what I'm saying? So I'm telling you that this is what I see in you, and I'm going to give you that opportunity while I'm here to make you 40000 50000 60000 70000 And then you go into six figures when you're up in them region. You see what yeah. I'm saying? And But they was good, had it, but because they that fear of I don't want to let this go because I'm comfortable right here mm -hmm. is the most sad thing that I think that was people said what was hard about when you was running all them stores it wasn't about keeping up with them you know what it was about the hardest thing is to see the potential 
offering it to the people to make fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year. And the people just stuck. And they say no. They stuck in their own mind. Yeah, they say then, no. And oh. they all. Uh, so that 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 that's the sad. That was the hardest part of my job. Okay, that's actually right and accurate. In the corporate world, I'm talking about the entertainment world. That ain't gonna fly because if you trying to be in the entertainment world full time, like myself, I ain't scared to admit it. Right, yeah. Right. I can't be no regional district manager and all that crap. That's right. why I never took those opportunities. I told them straight up, I got goals and dreams in life. Right. So that's not gonna fly with me. I'm but trying you were still to be doing something. The next Will Smith. Huh? You were still. That's what I'm saying. Even though you didn't take those positions, you didn't. You saying you didn't take those positions because you was pursuing another dream. Yeah, that's right. We talking about they they're not them. pursuing any of their dreams. Yeah. They're just dreaming. And what what's stopping them? Why why right. do people don't pursue their dreams and goals? See, even though you had that opportunity, and they probably were offering you. That's because you was doing something else. But some people they don't. Yeah, yeah so, I was always a good worker, with, but those people there that. That ain't doing what I'm do doing. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's not doing And If they're just regular workers or whatever, mm -hmm. they don't want to go. My opinion in Atlanta is they, they're afraid of success. Well, they don't want it's a, it's a, yeah, it's, it's that, yeah, it's the, they're afraid of success and, and failure. And a, failure. It's fear of failure right. and success. Right, right. They, mm -hmm. they, they, yeah. they're afraid that they're going to fail. It's a thin fail. line between the both of exactly. them. Exactly. Yeah. Because it's like, what if I fail, but then it's like, well, what if I do good? And that, what, the fear of success is the getting the food stamps taken away, getting the housing taken away. That's the fear of success. Yeah. Right, right. Because it's like, okay, I succeed, then the what if I can't afford my life? Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And and that's why I want to tell our, our, the, uh, the viewers and the subscribers is that if you have an offer and that offer it comes to you, and you are able to, I mean, make money. I mean, that's, and it that's aligns, the name of the game. And it really aligns, aligns with what you want to do. Wanna do. Like right. how you said you wanted to make money. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like you saying, I want to be an actress or I want to. No, no, no. You I just wanted to, you make wanted money. to make money. I wanted to so make money. So that opportunity came. That was your dream exactly. to make some money. So exactly. you hopped on that. And that's actually a lot of people dream to have money and then it, they have a situation where they can make money and they like, oh, no. Exactly. You I know, know I, I, I know, that. and that and that's just some things that you have to you have to do because my kids was almost like they was in the military because mm. we was I was everybody. moving we was so much because of position. my position. You see what I'm saying? I had to move, take them out of a school, place them in a new school, and then I have to run these stores in that area that they moved me to. And then it might be a year or two years later, hey, we need you to go 500 miles away in a whole nother. Then I have to yep. go to their school, pull them out, yep. and then put them inside of a new school and wherever that state they send me to. But so it came some, it came some challenges. But I feel that. like if, but, yeah, that's for a kid, that's not necessarily stability if they move it, but at the same time, I feel like a kid that gets to move around see life different. They do. They get to they experience do. different types yeah, of people. Yeah, they do. they mind don't yeah. be just one way. Well, they be yeah. open minded. Exactly. And I feel exactly. like that's needed for a person that will be successful. Like you right. can't be too closed minded. You have to right. just, because a lot of times people are afraid of success or fear of failure because mm -hmm. of how they're raised. They mm -hmm. don't see their parents do nothing. They don't never go nowhere. All they see is, is what's, in, what's front in front of them, the city them. or right, town that's right. in front of them. And then... Yeah, that's that, and that's <laughs> true. And, yeah, and then they just like... Like, I had a conversation uh, with my aunt. She's a nurse. Mm -hmm. She said the reason she is a nurse mm -hmm. is because the high school she went to, the counselor came in and told all the girls, she was talking to the girls, she mm -hmm. was like, look, if you want to be comfortable in life, you can do one or two things. You can be a teacher or a nurse because they're going to always need teachers and they're going to always need mm -hmm, nurses. Mm -hmm, Boom. Mm -hmm. That's it. And that's it. And so exactly. she did what she was told to do, what she was advised to do. Mm -hmm. Now, me, on the other hand, I went to performing arts school. Mm -hmm. My teachers always say, you need to be on Broadway. You need to dance. You right, need to do this. Right. So 
That's what I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. I was trained up to perform. Right. My schools didn't even... They cared about academics, but not as much as performing. They care right. way more about people seeing us. Right. And, and I got to the point that through my school, I was getting paid to dance. Right. So, right. So, growing up like that made me where... I tried to be regular. I tried to, like, go and, like, climb the ladder mm -hmm. at a regular job. I couldn't do it. And then opportunity always pre prevented it of, right yeah right. opportunity was always there for me to dance so right. every time i was like okay i'm just gonna be regular make some money right next right. thing i know somebody like hey can you come teach at my studio hey can you come do this right so it's like the way it's i was raised, the way was raised yeah. to do that yeah so i was raised to be creative right and to be a performer and, and and but you know it's a lot of our viewers that have certain hobbies that is out amazing mm -hmm. you know i know this i i don't i don't i don't know uh our viewers and subscribers personally a lot of them uh but i do know that everybody have a craft yeah. or they have something inside of them that they really are good at and like some people that sit around and draw all day and i mean they can draw good they have but they that's they, right home. but mm -hmm. they but they won't pursue it mm -hmm. and it's probably because somebody said oh they ain't, I mean, gonna make uh, they, they ain't gonna make you no money. Ain't nobody gonna want that. But you can put in for things who draw, who people who draw. You can start looking up things to try to apply to be uh, an illustrator. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, or an animated uh, person who, mm, who, who yeah, yeah, you know, who draws because that's where cartoons come the from. World, you have to draw that stuff. Yeah, the world you we know, live in, so you can literally do anything you want to you do. Can, you and, can. And if you, you can, have it's, you have a hobby or a talent or anything you good at, mm -hmm, whether it's, mm -hmm. it don't even have to be creative. It can be like you smart business exactly, mind. Exactly. You can start your own thing with that and make money your own way from it. But it's like if nobody ever tells you that and convinces you of that, right. then you'll just be... Right helping somebody else build a dream right so whatever so whatever y'all do uh pursue whatever it is that you have passionate about please pursue it and then a lot of people um the past hurts them too you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying it do um it, it it has um letting letting past hurt or disappointments dictate like your future and your choices because some things that people that happened to them in the past maybe they failed before and now they say i don't fail one time i ain't gonna do it again no you can do it again yeah. you can try it again you know what i'm saying you can try it again you ain't got to stop just because it didn't work that first time no it's not always no no yeah but you're gonna hear a lot of no yeah no eventually leads to a yes yeah it does it if, does if you get it enough does. no's it eventually becomes a yes. Mm -hmm. I've been told no before. Yeah. And, uh, and it hurt my little feelings. Mm -hmm. But then, I mean, I went out for captain in high school. Right. No. But I got right. co-captain. Right. But I I didn't want co-captain. I wanted, wanted captain. captain. yeah. No. But then in college, I got captain. So right. I had that no. Two years I went out for captain in high school. Both years he was like, no. Right. Then and I then went to college a whole nother level up. I went out for captains. Yes. They was like, "Yes, we want you as captain." You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I say you're gonna hear a lot of no's. Mm -hmm. You know that that that's gonna be your whole, you know your your life. That's just a part of making it to the next level. You're gonna hear more no's than you do yes. Even with regular interviews, but you're gonna you have to stay right. Yes. Right, you're right. Even when you go for right, even if you're going looking for a regular job, it be jobs you don't even whatever. want that to tell you no. Yeah. But that don't hurt as bad because you don't want it. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, McDonald's tell you no. You like, oh, okay, well, it's just McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. But your dream job tell you no, you hurt. Yeah. But you but can have another dream job. You're going to hear that. You're going to hear that. It, that's just the way it goes. So, y'all, that was the thing. And I'm so glad you brought that up as a topic today that you wanted to talk about. Because that's, that's a good topic. Because we really do. It's so many people stuck because they won't follow their dreams. And they listening to negative people. Don't listen to them people. Because, look, only you know how much you can put into something. Nobody else knows what you have in you, the the energy, the the passion. Nobody knows that the people might hear you talk about it, 
but they don't know how passionate you really are about it. And they can see sometimes that you are real passionate about it, and they still try to chop your dream off. That happened to me. You know, by saying, oh, nah, you ain't going to do nothing with that. You ain't going to do nothing with that. You know, you ain't going to get nowhere with that or good. Um, you, you know, ain't nobody going to hire you. Ain't nobody going to this. Don't listen to that, y'all. Keep it pushing. It. Keep it pushing. Because I think that's what's a lot of holding our people, young people back. Um, middle aged people, a lot of that, a lot of people been held back just because their success was crushed by think by listening pe to people other that people. don't even believe in themselves. Right. So if they can't believe in themselves, of course they can't believe in you. Yeah. They can't even believe in themselves. You know? That's so true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's always somebody you, you know, just like I said, when when they asked me to go for management and I'm telling my friends that's in the low income area, like, oh, they want me to go to manager because I'm happy. You think you they're gonna be happy for you? You think they're gonna be happy for you? Talking about, girl, you better not take that. I was like, huh? You know see, what I'm saying? They so, don't. They didn't. They, they didn't have no dreams. People with yeah. no dreams are gonna crush right, your dreams. Right. They want to keep you down there. And with then them. the sad part is, is when I got up there, and like I told y'all, I was traveling and doing all that. I am the type that I never forget where I come from. So I always go back and visit friends. Um, you know, I, 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 we do like charity, give out stuff to the homeless and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You never forget where you came from. You know what I'm saying? But when I go back, now they don't want to be bothered with me. They say that I think I'm D shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they like, oh, you know, I don't, you know what wow. she think? They don't even want. They don't. They don't even want to talk to me. And, and that, that's been years ago. So and and. Those relationships faded out long ago. But when I was trying to come back, and I was trying to get some of them, to be honest with you, I went back to get some of them to be like, hey, I have some job openings because now I'm, I'm running the call. Trying to help people So out. now I'm getting ready to give them jobs, and then once they get the job, I'm going to show them how to be managers and stuff because we all need to pull out of that hole a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. And... They be like, girl, I don't want that. I don't, I, don't, I don't want that job. It's only one person to follow me, and I don't know if you remember, and her name was Kim. She followed. Yeah, Big Kim. She, Big Kim. Yeah. Big Kim. Uh, yeah. That, it was only one. That's what I'm saying. One female out of 200 and something females yeah. that said, I'm going to do it. And right today, she makes six figures. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Doing well. But at the time I went back and got her, she was only making three dollars and thirty five cents an hour. And Time now, hard and back then. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. But <laughs> now she's in six figures. You know what I'm saying? Same, but bro. that's what that's what minimum wages was was back in uh, 1988 and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. what I'm saying is, I went back. To try to grab yeah. as many as I can, cause I ain't running it. I can put them in my stores, you know. Now I got ten stores. You I spread your around, right. mm -hmm. you know. But it was only one that said okay. I do it, you know. And she was in housing authority and all that. And now she's making six figures. And right today, you know. I smile and proud of her, and she proud of her doggone self. You know what I'm saying? So. You, you just have to, have to. You have to see more you for have yourself. To, you do. You, you really can't base do. it off what other people see. You really for you do because they can only see as far as what they are going to live. Right. You know. You right. got to see for yourself. And right. Like I speak highly on where my life mm -hmm. is going to end up. Right. But the other people around me don't necessarily feel like that. Right. They have limits. It's their vision is limited. Mm -hmm. Mine's is not. I think mm -hmm. that. The universe is the right. limit, not the right. sky. So, right. Right. you know, if you are those people that's like, I'm only limited to this. This is only as far as I can go. That's as far as you're going to go. Right, right. So, so yeah, that 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 was our video today. And uh, we we going to wrap it up. But we do want y'all to pursue your goals because just like I said, that's why, you know, I wrote that book, Inventory Control Easy, and everybody know and if you're new to our show as a subscriber, you can always, every Wednesday, or you can go to our, our channel, come to the Cafe of Knowledge, and you will see where I teach you how to do accounting, budget, and finance, inventory. I teach you how to do everything so that you can make your, you could 
go for a better career, a better job, make money or, or whatever like that. That's if that's what your goal is, you know. That's not the entertainment world, but that's a corporate world. You actually need you see that what I'm in entertainment world. And you world do too, need though. it in entertainment, right, because you, you, be you, had, you, you got so many stars that they had to file bankruptcy because they their accountant money. got over them. Mm -hmm. You know, like people say, dog, you mean tell me that group broke? They ain't got no money? And when you look at their interview, they say, well, you know, we just had some people that was doing our money, and we didn't know they were stealing from us, mm -hmm. and now we broke, you know? Mm -hmm. And that... What I'm teaching, accounting, finance, that goes for everybody. all that go for it goes for anything you it applies to anything you want to apply to, and can't nobody get old. Even when you're running your own business, mm -hmm. you don't have to hire an accountant or an auditor mm -hmm. and all that stuff. You know how to do all that stuff yourself. So yeah, it's very beneficial, and it was very beneficial for us. You know, for for me, cause you know, and it's I know a lot of people that's doing very well right now because they have completed my inventory cost uh course book and then they tune in to on wednesdays you know what i'm saying so very, very nice but people please follow your dreams follow your dreams follow them don't let nobody stop you don't don't let all these people come in with all that that hater rage and don't you know? stop yourself yeah yeah don't 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 stop yourself so um Anything else you want to say? Y'all look out for my new mixtape dropping next week. <laughs> my actually next next year it's gonna be with Plies called okay, Where's so, My Money. Oh my really? god! Really? You know what I'm saying? No, okay, I'm just okay. I'm just oh, you know what? You <laughs> ought to stop that. But anyway, had me saying really. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but okay. But I do do music. Though, so that's yeah, why I see the bitch. Yeah, you do do music and everything. So um, we just want to tell everybody that we appreciate it. That was so good, you know. And then you know some Child people. Came over but, here and yeah, it, but I know, and I want to say something else. You know, like timing. People say that it's not the right timing, and sometimes that could be true. You know, like an offer can come up to you. And then it's just not the right timing that can stop somebody. Mm. From, I don't. Uh, I don't fully believe in the timing thing because, mm -hmm. like, you know how some people believe that time is on their side. Like, right. Time has never been on my side from what I feel. Right. So I can't go off a good timing because right. I never have good timing. I have to just do it. Right. Because right. if I wait on good timing, it's never gonna happen for me. Right, and that's true. I, 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 make, that's true. I make it good timing that's, because if I wait on good timing, it's never gonna happen. That's that's true. That's true. So <laughs> that, 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 that that is true. But but you know, it's just it's just some people that that's why I said timing is one of the ones the reason that people use that a lot mm -hmm. on how come they didn't follow their dreams so it or they excuse. not so it could be an yeah. excuse that time you know uh, well excuses well, are only good right. for the ones that give them right right they That's always it. it's not the right time or you know when they ask me it wasn't the right time i i, I had something to do yeah. I, you know it's always an excuse so yeah. Uh, y'all pursue your goals, pursue your dreams, keep working hard because we really do need a lot of people to be more successful out here in this world. Yes. And, and you know, the more successful people we have, the better the world would be. You know what yes. I'm saying? Because if you have more successful people, you ain't got to worry about nobody, uh, trying try to knock you upside the head for your little five dollars that you got in your back pocket. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If they, if, if, if everybody, be happy. they'll be happy because they, they ain't got to hit you upside the head for your five dollars because they already got fifty dollars. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's what I'm trying to say is the more successful people that we have, and follow your dream. You don't have to be all this big stuff and all that stuff. Just oh, be successful. One more thing. Yeah. They they're afraid of the struggle that come with it too. Yeah, it's a struggle. It, it's it, a struggle. It, it is rough parts of following your dreams. Mm -hmm. it, sometimes it the pursuit of happiness, that movie with right. Will Smith. Right. Like, he right. struggled before he got to that right. good point. You right. Know? right. So don't be afraid of the struggle because this the hard decision. Either you gonna struggle mm -hmm. because you didn't follow your dreams, or you gonna struggle while following your dreams and eventually make it to where you want to be. Right. I think giving up is a way harder choice than mm -hmm. actually pursuit because right. giving up, you ain't even give yourself a chance. Right, right, right. And that's so true. That's so true. So y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Please follow your dreams. Follow everything. Uh, pursue everything that you can. 
Anyway, gain knowledge there you go. to prevent <laughs> blockage. And y'all all know what that means. The more you know, the harder it is for anybody to stop y'all from y'all goals and success. Bye-bye. See y'all next week.